Good. Well, here we are at Bill's History and War Game World, and once again, we're at Walt L's secret bunker location for playing Rourke's Drift. And Kevin, before I hit the table, I think you're going to be one of the British officers. Yes, I am the second in command, Bromhead, <laughs> by two months. By two months. All right. And what, are your, what is your prediction? Uh, my prediction is this is my last battle. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to swing over to Joseph. And uh, Joseph, I hear you're going to be one of the mighty Zulu warriors. That's right. And we're uh, determined that we'll be uh, washing our spears in British blood. Ooh. Wow. All right. And last but not least, um, Walt, I heard you are Lieutenant Chard. Sorry to say yes. All right. And... Uh, I'm going to hit the battlefield now, and oh my gosh, it's Goober the Traveling Bear. He has once again appeared. Well, this is our Rourke's Drift game in 54 millimeter using area movement. Last week, I did it with using inches. This is based on Worthington's game's Victoria Cross. We have 100 British, 150 Zulus. The Zulus recycle, however, for three attack waves. Um, I think we're looking forward to a fun, exciting game with good friends and, and all. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more action. I'll stop halfway through. I think maybe we'll do a one-minute recap at the end of each wave. All right, well, we're still on wave one, and the Zulus are all over the ramparts. And we're going to go to Lieutenant Walt. What's well, happening? We're having a problem with command here. <laughs> yeah, uh, charge and command. <laughs> Bromhead down there took the water cart, moved it away from my guy so I couldn't get any additional benefits from firing. It's for the hospital man. Well, yeah. Where's your humanity? Yeah, right, right. We will cooperate. And in, so <laughs> in the meantime, in the meantime, Gatling Gun Zulu leader Joe Walconis <laughs> rolled 15 dice and did seven kills, rolling fives and sixes in the first round. Needless to say, the British took a slight morale hit with that one. But uh, otherwise, we're holding up so far so good. All right. Well, uh, Kevin, real quick, you're second in command. Why yes. did you take Walt's water cart? Uh, well, it was in my area under my command. I didn't take anything. <laughs> I am, of course, defending the hospital, protecting the wounded, my humanitarian duty. I told Walt I would uh, cooperate, uh, as they say. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> But uh, I won't take any orders, no. <laughs> All right. Well, we're having a great time here. And um, Jim in Scotland, I know you like watching our, our videos here. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video along with uh, Jack in Arizona and the entire Broome County Sheriff's Department that watch this in, the, wow. in their room. Uh, hey, thanks. We'll be back in a little while. All right. Well, we uh, the British have survived Wave 1. And Walt, would you like to... To mention how well you did on May 1. Well, we had a heroic defense. We were able to stave off an assault on the corral from two sides because uh, Corporal Schlitz made a mistake. He, he told the guys to, to go in and fire against the one wall when the Zulus crawled over behind them. Um, but we were able to beat them off. In the meantime, it's just been a picnic at the other end of the, uh, the, the, the compound here. The, the Brits down there are watching us fight while they're just there, you know, Picking their teeth with their bayonets. Wiping out 100 of the 120 guys who had to die. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Kevin, second in command of the British Army here. Yes. Uh, what is your view of who's uh, doing well? Well, there's been a great travesty here that I'm second in command by two months uh, because we have just obliterated all opposition down at this end while Walt put our whole position at risk up at the other end. Um, it's all going into report. I'm taking notes visibly through the whole battle. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, um, I have to ask our Zulu leader, Joseph, um, do you have a better plan to come up for Wave 2 since our Wave 1 was ineffective? Well, we have plenty of warriors left, and uh, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, um, we'll come back at the end of Wave 2, and neither hospital nor storehouse uh, is on fire either. We've uh, they've survived that. Oh, so this is a night turn, isn't it? We're going into the night turn. We have a minus on the. All right, we have stopped the battle for a moment in wave two. Um, somebody did not leave. One of the British players forgot to leave <laughs> British soldiers on a wall, and the Zulus swooped in, moving their two areas. And now that would be the officer commander. Um, uh, which <laughs> officer would like to talk about how this happened? This mess up. 
Um, all right, Walt does not seem to want to talk. Uh, Kevin? Well, the officer commanding doesn't want to talk about his own inadequacies over there, but yeah, he keeps leaving the back door open and the Zulus keep stomping in. Now, I think this is the second time he's done this. It is. One would think one would learn from experience, but uh, not everyone. Uh, it just shows an uh, engineer officer should not be in charge of this. All right, and Walt does not want to be on camera right now because he's got <laughs> Zulus coming up his butt. <laughs> Walt, do you want to say anything? <laughs> okay, uh, we're having a great time, everyone, but you, know, you got to double check your, your zones before you let the Zulus move. All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, we have just completed wave three, and the British are victorious. Yeah. So we're going to go to Walt here. Walt, you are a chart. Um, Couple minutes here. Uh, what happened? How how did you pull this win out? Uh, just a lot of hard work. Um, you know, it was really the biggest problem wasn't the Zulus. It was dealing with Lieutenant Bromhead. Um, he just simply would not follow orders. I would tell him to do this. He would just be totally contrary to that. And I would do the correct thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then I had this great great idea that what I would do is leave a wall undefended to suck the Zulus in and trap them. And Twice. it worked. <laughs> and it worked. Even when I didn't want it to work, it worked. Mm. So, um, but yeah, it was a, it, it was really close run thing. Um, mm -hmm. You can still see there's a bunch of Zulus out there, but enough of them are dead that you don't think it's worth trying to go after 11 more Brits that are left. That we yeah, need. yeah the, in the rules, the Zulus break at this point at 80 uh, figure loss. I'm coming to Kevin, second in command of the British Shaw. You are a Lieutenant Bromhead, yes. and what do you have to say about this superior game? Well, it was a superior game. I may, uh, I may never uh, gain another command, though, because uh, I know there he was actually a, survived the battle. There was some dispute over the water cart between you and Lieutenant Shard, but... It was my brilliant handling of the water cart that enabled our stand at the end. Very good. Now, I'm going to go to Joseph, my uh, Zulu leader. Joseph, uh, any input on our Zulu attacks? Our brave Zulu warriors fought gallantly, I thought. Oh, yes, they did. They fought very bravely, and it was fairly close. We only had to uh, finish off about uh, a dozen more of those Brits, and we would have had the day. Yeah, what is there, about eight, ten down there? Well, it looks like the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like a dozen left. Wow. Well, so I, I, of the dozen that are left, uh, looks like it looks there. like uh, six of them are wounded. Okay. Um, any specialty characters die? Uh, yeah, quite a few, I think. Our right. Our, our and Sheese. And Sheese, yes. Frederick Sheese is only the foreigners, but <laughs> from the Natal Native Police. All right. Well, I think that's it from Bill's History and War Game World once again at Walt L's house at the secret location somewhere in the state of Maryland. And we're going to say goodbye. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. And uh, kindness is free even when you're wargaming with friends. Thank you.